Barry. It's a lovely ball. Jenis. Now in we've got runners all over the place, and that's a great through ball, and that's a great goal. Superb move, and once it fell at the feet of Franny Jeffers, there was only one outcome. That's the sweeping move from back to front. I talk about the delivery from the back players being excellent, and this time Gareth Barry's ball in the Jermaine Jenis is excellent. And now it's about the runs. You know, can it be right? Will they stay on side? Even Oski actually helps Franny Jeffers a little bit because I think he actually overcompensates defensively. But it's a clever little ball, this. It's got the right pace, the right weight. And Arsene Wenger, when he signed Franny Jeffers, he talked about this young man being the fox in the box. And he's a very clinical finisher. That's a shocking dive, I've got to say. The referee should come back and book him. Here's Cole, meanwhile, for England. Jeffers and Amiobi both on the far post area. And here's Jeffers! What do they call him? Fox in the box. And that's why. Well, I've got to say, as well as Macedonia helped defend it for the best part of this evening, this is Wolf. It really is. Not so much from when Joe Cole gets the ball, because they do quite well. They force him inside. We have a look really where Francis Jeffers goes here. And what I can't believe is defenders go in with him. And really, Ivanovsky there, he's far, far too far away from where Francis Jeffers is. And it really is the simplest of tasks for the Arsenal striker to convert. He certainly had enough opportunities to finish Macedonia off. And this time he wasn't going to miss his second of the night. And he continues his impressive under-21 goal scoring record. He certainly stumbles into the box, but the initial challenge from Gareth Barry, there you can see just a little bit of a pullback. But as you've rightly said, Alan, you know, whether the referee identifies it early enough that Gareth Barry is the last defender, quite easily have been a red card. Thankfully not. It does give Macedonia a good opportunity. Can they come up with something with a set piece? Because England have struggled in positions like this. Looks like it's being set up for the left-footed Baldo Valier, the number eight. And it is. Oh, what a finish. A splendid goal by Zoran Baldovalia, the 19-year-old who plays for the Bel Asica club, who were in the UEFA Cup this season. He's figured in all three matches that Macedonia have had so far, and that's a great moment for him. Well, I just got to question the wall there and, and perhaps even the goalkeeper's positioning because you think he's got to be over a little bit more looks as if it's made well Macedonian player but uh, well what a boost that was for the coach and the Macedonian players their first goal of course in the group Jenis Samuel now perhaps a little hint of nervousness now that the scoreline is a lot closer England could do with another goal quickly to settle them down again. Right, Phillips. He's going to have to carry. Crouch let it run. Oh, that's lovely football. Yes! He's done it. Francis Jeffers provides that goal. And in the process, that's another hat trick for the under 21. Well, it's clever play, I think, initially from Michael Carrick. I'd be interested to have a look at Franny Jeffers' position here. I've talked all evening about some of the clever, astute runs that he's made. But, well, I actually thought he may well have strayed offside, but when you look at that, you can understand why the referee's assistant hasn't given it. It's tight, it's close. For the majority of the evening, he has made clever runs, so give him the benefit of the doubt. But certainly when he gets into situations like that, he ain't going to let you down with his finishing. And he's deserved his hat-trick tonight, he really has.